First time we use the uh, GoPro knife. So let's unbox the clips R41M. This is uh, it's currently a relatively inexpensive bookshelf speakers. So if you're interested, you can take a look at the Costco website. Less than a hundred dollars. I think it's a very good deal. What we're going to do is take this out. Take them out. Temporarily put them on. This is the Dayton Audio MK440T. Very well reviewed transmission line structure. The output is here. But anyway, we put this clip on top of it temporarily. Later on, if it's good enough, we're going to get a uh, stand for the clip. So the woofer size of them are about the same. I use uh, these uh, towel to prevent some vibration. So this is the back of the clips. Let's move, remove these caps. And this is the back of the data module. This is the other one. Again, remove this cap. We're going to use the tube amplifier classic. 16.0, very high quality. Use um, EL34 push and pull output, about 40 watts. And uh, the CD player is a uh, AmQ uh, C7030. Let's turn it on. Data audio is a uh, double woofer, so it's a four ohm speaker. See two four inches woofers with a three quarter dome tweeter, and the It's a also a uh, four inch woofer with a horn tweeter. It's also a three quarter, I believe. The build quality of the two are about the same. Both looks pretty nice. The clips looks a little bit more refined. Pull this out, pull this out, so we compare without the screens on, volume about a quarter now, let's try to play something. The Capture it. But anyway, I use this microphone for your reference. So when I play on the MK440T, I put the microphone like this level, and later on I'll lift it to the level of the Eclipse. Drive 
vez more. Supposedly, bass should be better than flip. And we can go higher. This is about half. So we're connected to the cliffs now. Uh, we play the same piece. Play. So now it's three, three, uh, one quarter volume. I lift it to a higher position. Pretty clean, nice. Let's lift the volume a little bit more. like a little more bass but it's pretty much because it's the the attenuation to the uh, high frequency uh, and dispersion effect now we connect the pioneer elite 73 lr this is the uh, atmos uh, speaker so you can see on top but today we're not go going to connect the Atmos speaker, only the main speaker. Again, we remove the front cover. The reason I brought this back is 
I really like the idea to use this coaxial speaker construction. Tweeter is coax with the uh, mid range. So the voice coil of the mid range is larger. You can see the gap here. There's a little horn shape here to prevent interaction to the uh, surroundings. I believe it's not very successful, but the design is smart. And with uh, this is a three-way, five and quarter inch woofer. I'd like to give it a try. I saw the measurement. I believe later on I'll show you. I believe the open box performance may not be uh, satisfactory. I will again compare it against the Klipsch R41M. Those are really inexpensive speakers. Again, we use this tube amplifier to drive them. The Anki CD player. We will pick the same track. Track number two. And we do a play. It's just now the left channel was not connected, so now they are both. Now I'm going to switch. Now we switch to these smaller monitors, the Klipsch. R41M. Again, remove the cover. So we bring the volume down to about three quarter here and play the same track. Okay. The sensitivity is about the same. I can hear the loudness is about the same.
So I this relatively low volume. So comparing with the Pioneer, the clip pulled pretty well for the price, for the size. The bass is nice, um, and uh, I would say the mid range is pretty pronounced and uh, kind of a forward sounding. Um, the only drawback is a little bit. Uh, I think it could be just distortion because here. Uh, a little bit harsh um, sound, especially the female voice. Um, it sounds um, not as smooth as the Pioneer. So this is just the original form. Uh, the Pioneer, I brought them back. One reason is because the, um, the coaxial design and the dedicate the woofer. Another reason is I saw the measurement and I believe I have a way to improve it in further. Even though the design is by um, Andrew Jones, uh, an, a, uh, how to say, famous engineer, um, pretty good engineer design speakers. But when I saw the measurement, I noticed there's something can be done better. So, um, Stay tuned, uh, the next section I will um, fine tune the Pioneer speaker, make, make them even better, sound nicer, um, more balanced. I think that's the, uh, the target. That's all for today. Yeah.